YouTube, this is Mega Dweezil coming at you from the Great Indiana Wilderness. And I uh, <laughs> I got on the computer today and I'm reading news stories and I, I, I gotta say, okay, this is like somebody's got to help me out here because I'm pretty sure that the human race is toast. I mean, we're you know I can't quite get my head around it. Maybe it's because I'm old or something, but. Uh, I took my wife out, which is, yeah, okay, but and I took my wife out on, on St. Patrick's Day, all right, uh, and which is a fairly extraordinary circumstance. Who wound up at this place? It happens to be the only gay bar in Bloomington, all right. This by itself is not bizarre enough, uh, but my wife is, as, as I'm sitting at this table with, with my back to the wall, you know, sort of wondering how I came to be here. And my wife is up dancing with what has to be the worst tranny I've ever seen in my life, you know. Big, huge guy, must have raided his great aunt's closet, you know, terrible wig, looked like a dancing bear with bad hair. And she's up dancing with this guy as the smoker, the steam and stuff's coming up from the floor. And I look out over the crowd here, and I notice that, you know, at every table, if there's five people sitting at the table, Three of them are texting, okay? I mean, there's all these pale little faces lit by these LED lights, you know, as, as these people that are supposedly out with their friends are, like, texting uh, while they're sitting at the table. And I was sitting there, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, who are these people talking to, you know? And what are they saying? I mean, they're not saying to the people at the table, but... but only recently, you know, have I encountered something that's even stranger than that because I'm looking at, you know, these areas of New Jersey and New York and places that have been unfortunately devastated by this hurricane, right? And what seems to be everybody's concern? They're looking for a place to charge their cell phone. They're going to fire stations and libraries, and any place that has an electrical outlet, and forming groups so that they can charge their cell phone. Is it just me that doesn't get this, or to whom is it that these people wish to speak? I mean, wh what exactly is it that, what's the conversation under those circumstances, you know? Hi, Mom. It's really wet. The water's up to my nutsack, but I'm still alive. You know, how do you run out your cell phone? You know, and then have to go, like, walking for miles to charge it. What are people talking about? What are they saying? Why does everybody need a cell phone in a disaster? They're not looking for stuff to eat. You know, they're not looking for a place to get out of the rain. They're looking for a place to charge their cell phone. I mean, I, you know, mine rings like once a week, okay? Uh, maybe it's just me, you know, and maybe people could help me out. Who is it that everybody needs to talk to? You know they're not going to call 911. I mean, nobody is that clueless that they think they're actually going to get an answer, you know, on 911 in the middle of a disaster. But for some reason, everybody seems to think they need a charged cell phone, you know? I don't know. Anyway, you know, don't worry, YouTube, because Indiana's holding.